guys, my name is Matimio, and today we are going to be playing some Crisis 2 on the parking deck map. This is actually one of my favorite maps so far, just because it has like three different levels. There's a lot of different variety in it, and I don't, I don't know. I just, I've had a lot of success with it, so that's probably why I really enjoy it. Uh, but also, where it's going to be team instant action, which is essentially team deathmatch. There's nothing different about it. It's, it is team deathmatch. So if you're new to the Crisis series, that's just, that's just what it is. Um, but overall, this was a really fun match. I actually get to the final kill streak for the first time in this game. I'm only level 11, I think, in this video, but I think now I'm 26. So I've had a little bit more experience now. But uh, basically, the final kill streak and all the kill streaks are different per or for each level. And for this one, it, I believe it gives you radar, uh, radar jammer, and then the maximum armor overload, which just basically makes you a tank. Uh, which is pretty cool, and I will get to that when we actually get to the point, get to this part, get to the part, if I could actually talk, where I actually receive it, I'll kind of go more in depth on that. Uh, so the weapon I'm using in this game is the Scar, and it is definitely a beast of a weapon, and I find that really the only other weapon that is actually viable is the Feline, I believe that's what it's called, and it is the submachine gun, or the, the first submachine gun that you actually unlock. I've unlocked the K-Volt? which is the other submachine gun, and I have been very uh, unimpressed by it. And what it is, is if you're unaware of what it actually does, it does damage, but it also drains the enemy's energy when you shoot at them. But I find that it just does not kill anyone very quickly, so I haven't really used it very often. And I find that if people didn't die as quickly in this game, and you were running around with a friend who was using the Scar or some other weapon, it would be really useful so you could kind of like combo people down by you know, draining their energy and then killing them with the scar. I think that'd be really cool, but since the fact that people actually die relatively quickly, there's just really no use to actually use it. Uh, but let me know what you guys actually think about the cable. Do you think it's an actual viable weapon? Because uh, at least in my opinion, it just just it just doesn't do, just doesn't do it for me. Uh, so I quickly wanted to address something, and that is a lot of people are requesting sniper gameplay for me because you guys all know, or at least if you're uh, not new to my channel, you know that I post a lot of sniper gameplay on any game that I really play, and I definitely am going to do that for Crisis 2, but until I actually reach the final sniper rifle unlock, which is at level 39, and I think I'm at 26 right now, uh, I'm not sure how much gameplay I'm going to actually post, because at least right now I find the sniping, sniping in this game to be very frustrating, because it's a two-shot body shot for a kill, and for one-shot kills you're going to have to go for a headshot, and that may seem reasonable, but for the most part, it is just extremely hard to get a headshot in this game. At least I find it is, because people are zipping around so quickly, it's just, I don't know, I find it very difficult. I, I, I mean, that's, it's definitely a challenge, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm up for a challenge, but if it gets too aggravating, I'm not sure, you know, how much I'm going to pursue it. Uh, but the second sniper, or the, yeah, the second sniper rifle, you can actually unlock has more damage output, so maybe up close it will be a one-shot kill. But right now with the the first unlock, it just does not do a whole lot of damage. Uh, so even if you're up close and you get you know a body shot, it's not going to get the kill like in the uh, Battlefield series. Uh, but I definitely will be posting gameplay on that. Uh, so right there, you may have noticed that I have the maximum armor uh, kill streak, and I basically became a tank, uh, which was awesome. I think this was actually the first game I actually used it, so I was like, oh. That guy definitely should have killed me, like, four times. Uh, so it really definitely helps you out, and I would... I think it's actually more effective for team-based games on, uh, you know, like, Crash Site, because the, the Stealth Gunship, or the Seth Gunship, does a lot of, you know, gets you a lot of kills, but if you're trying to hold a, you know, the Crash Zone for the uh, game mode Crash Site, uh, and you have the armor mode, it's it's... At least in my opinion, it's going to help your team out more because you're going to be able to take out a lot of people. There's been some scenarios where I'm on the point, no one else is around me except for you know three enemies, and I'm able to take all of them out, even while they're all shooting at me. And you feel like a beast when it happens, and I'm able to take the point, or at least hold the point even longer, and you know help out my team. And like I said, the the stealth, the Seth, I keep wanting to call it stealth. I think it's the Seth gunship. Uh, you know, can get you a lot of kills. It's it's random, and for those team ga team based games, it may not uh, you know get you the the right kills if that makes sense. Uh, so I definitely really enjoy it. I think it's actually one of the more powerful uh, kill streaks. It's not overpowered, but it's definitely very powerful. 
Uh, so that's all I really wanted to talk about this game. I actually just recently finished the single player, and I think I finished it, finished it on the highest difficulty. At least the highest difficulty allows you to actually uh, play at. I think you actually have to unlock the uh, the hardest hardest uh, after you've beaten it or something. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. There were some plot holes in it. At least I thought there were. I was just kind of like, wait, why did I just do that? And, but overall, it was really a fun experience. It was extremely fast-paced. The action was was a lot of fun. The different creatures and monsters that you had to, or not really monsters, aliens that you had to kill were exciting. And overall, I would say it was a really fun multiplayer or single-player experience. And I usually don't say that very often for single-player games just because I'm more of a multiplayer kind of guy. But it kept my interest, and it was much longer than a Call of Duty uh, single player, so that's always a plus. You know, going four hours in, it's like, wait, shouldn't the, shouldn't this be over already? <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, this about wraps up the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions or comments, please do leave them down below, and I will try to address them as soon as possible. And right here, I didn't mean to actually jump down, but, I, but when I did, I I definitely got my face kicked in. What I meant to do was just kind of snipe them from up above, but you know, life, I guess, just isn't fair. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down below, and either I will respond to them in a comment, or even maybe in a video. Uh, I actually do that occasionally. Actually, I do it quite frequently. A lot of my videos are from ideas that my subscribers have, or some questions that they have, so feel free to ask. Uh, but also, guys, if you could do me a huge favor and give this video a rating, I would definitely appreciate that. Uh, but also, if you'd like to see more videos from me, check out my channel and subscribe. But until next time, guys, have a good one, and take it easy. Exactly how I like to win by a mile. Hey guys, we now have our own website. Actually, we've always had our own website, but why not follow us on there? There you'll find all our videos conveniently sorted into playlists by game, as well as videos from many other directors that are part of our NGT network.